Hi, welcome to the Tracky tutorial guide on the web application. Today we're going to show you some of the things that you need to know uh, about the Tracky web application and how to set up some of the settings to make sure that you have them right when you're using your Tracky device. If you go to app.tracky.com, uh, use the email and password that you register with, and let's go ahead and log in here. If you haven't already um, added a device, you can click Add Tracker here, uh, which will allow you to add a new tracker or your first tracker. And you can find the tracker ID on the back of the tracker as well as on the back of the box itself. Um, it will then ask you to go ahead and select your plan as well as personalize your tracker. We already have a tracker here activated and you can go ahead and click on it and it will open up a tab that shows you the address, the latitude and longitude, as well as the last updated. You can also see battery life and the connection that it's using here. You can manually refresh your tracker, view the history of your tracker, share location to friends and family members, view tracker notifications, send beep to the tracker device, as well as zoom into the device. On the other tab up here, you have settings and alerts. You are able to nickname your tracker as well as set the location update intervals from every one minute to every four hours. You can view your device subscription plan and also set extended battery sleep mode. Speed unit alerts such as speed alarm notifies you if someone is over speeding start moving alerts when a vehicle or a person starts moving SOS key left and right key as well as beep sound of the device and low battery alerts now I'd like to show you geofences by clicking the bat button here and going to this geofences tab on the top left. This allows you to add new geofences. And you can add new geofences to wherever you would like. And name the geofence. This will send you an alert when it's crossed. And if you ever want to change it, you can go in here and edit the geofence. You also have some icons here to the right. Uh, this one is view your location. And then you have the map settings, which change it from street or to satellite, as well as a mixture. You can display tracker names or turn them on and off. And you can also show geofences, just like the one that we made here. Now I'd like to show you some of the other icons at the top. Um, the first one being an arrow pointing to the northeast, which is the live view that shows your tracker and the map. And also a bell, which will show you any notifications that you currently had, um, allow you to export them or clear all the notifications. If you ever want to get back to the home page, you just click here on the tracky icon on the top left and it will bring you back to the view um, of the map. You can also do so by clicking the arrow here. 
some of the account settings if you click the drop down arrow in the top right hand corner you'll see that we have account settings contacts contact us privacy policy user agreement how to videos like this one and the log out button let's go ahead and look at some of the settings here it allows you to change from kilometers as well as miles per hour the date format of your preference your country code as well as mobile number for notifications and alerts email address also allows you to change your password turn on and off email and app notifications as well as change the language now we're going to go ahead and show you how to add some contacts by going to the contacts bar and it will also say click here to add a new contact you can have up to 10 contacts on one account um, either by email or by phone to receive text messages or notifications and you can add those contacts here after you add those contacts if you go back to your settings bar in your tracker settings it allows you to add those contacts to these notifications such as the speed limit start moving SOS key and the other push button notifications this has been a tracky help guide video if you had any other questions about some of your settings or how to use the tracker you can always contact us at support at tracky.com or you can call us at 323-785-2020 as well as 800-742-1200.